Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Robinson again, and we're going to continue our studies by solving equations, one-step equations, that is, with fractions. So, the key idea is to use the addition property of equality where you're adding the same number to each side of the equation, which produces an equivalent equation, such as in algebra, we say where A is equal to B, so we then have A plus C equals B plus C, because what we did was we added the C to both sides. So it makes the equation balanced. There's also the subtraction property of equality, where we're subtracting the same number from each side of the equation, and it produces an equivalent equation. Well, we, in algebra, we say if we have A equals to B, if we subtract C from both sides, where A minus C and B minus C, the equation will still be equivalent. So remember, addition and subtraction are inverse operations. Inverse means opposite. So let's get to it. Our first question is we have some number z plus 3 halves equals 1 half. So we want to use the inverse operation of addition. So the opposite of addition we want to undo it is by subtracting 3 halves. So if we subtract 3 halves from both sides, that's just the subtraction property of equality, by the way, we get uh, the three halves are going to cancel out. So if you've seen my other video on solving, oops, sorry about that, let me get a pen. So if we get a pen and cross this out. So this cancels out and we have one half minus three halves. So we can use our calculator, by the way. So that'll just give us negative one we simplify, and that is our answer. So z, the solution, z is equal to negative 1. So we have to check it. So we're going to replace z with negative 1 and add 3 halves to it to see if it's equal to 1 half. Well, negative 1 plus 3 halves will give us, if we use our calculator, 1 half, and that equals to 1 half, so it does check out. So use your calculator to help you out. We're allowed to use our calculators. So I have a shortcut that I want to tell you about. So I think you'll like the shortcut a little bit better. So the tip is change the fractions to decimals. That way you don't have to worry about dealing with fractions, even though you should learn how to deal with fractions, but change them to a decimal if you can. So here I have that same problem we just mentioned a minute ago. I got my calculator and typed 3 divided by 2. That gave me 1.5. And then I type 1 divided by 2, that gave me 0 0.5. So my equation really is, as a decimal, z plus 1.5 equals 0 0.5. So let's see how we do it. We use the additive inverse, or you undo the addition, which is by subtracting 1.5 from both sides. That's our subtraction property of equality. And what happens over here, the plus 1. 0.5 cancels out with the negative 1.5 or the minus 1.5, and we have 0 0.5 plus a negative 1.5 or minus a negative 1.5 gives us a negative 1.0 because we cannot add these numbers up because the signs are different. So if we subtract 1.5 minus 5, that'll give us 1, and choose the sign of the neg of the 1.5 because it is bigger than the 0 0.5. So that's how we get negative 1 as I answer. So I hope you enjoyed this question and nice tip. So here's a question for you to solve. Solve for W. Remember, use your calculator. W plus 3 and 3 eighths equals 1 and 5 six. So that's for you. Hopefully you will understand what's going on. And if you're not sure, rewatch the video and use that tip. That's a good uh, way to deal with this question. But if you're unsure, write down your questions, bring them in. I'll be glad to see what I can do for you in class. So here's another question. So remember the steps. Undo by using the either addition or subtraction property. That's going to be addition of 5 ninths. So we're going to undo it by subtracting 5 ninths from both sides. And what that does, it cancels out the 5 ninths, leaving us with Q equal to 6 
five six minus five ninths, and that's going to be our answer. So uh, I'm going to get let you finish that off so you can figure it out. Use your calculator, and that'll give you the answer. So, so here's another one. I notice this time the R is on the other side. You started off with negative two and one fourth equals R minus four fifths. You're allowed to take the uh, stuff, the equal sign, and put it in the front of the variable. That's no problem. If you're uncomfortable with it, rewrite it as, with the equal sign at the end. And that way, maybe you'll feel a little bit more comfortable. So I just rewrote it by putting that back at the end where it should be. So remember your steps. You undo the, the uh, operation, which is, in this case is subtraction. So we're going to use addition of 4 fifths on both sides of the equal sign. That way it cancels out the four-fifths on this side, and we have R equal to, and again, get your calculator, negative two and one-fourth plus four-fifths, and that'll give you the answer. So bring it into class, and we'll see what you got. So I hope you're understanding what's going on. If you're not sure, bring in your questions, write them down, and let me know what we can do for you when we get in class. You can write me an email at, ro at drobinson at peakskillschools.org, and I'll be glad to answer it. Here's another question. Oh, we got a decimal for a change. Solve for D. Remember what I said about having the answer in front, the equal sign in front. You can put it in the end and see if you can solve a decimal. Decimals are a lot easier to work with than fractions. So here's another fraction. See if you can get that. Solve for Q. That looks familiar. I hope you're understanding what's going on. If you're not sure, write down your questions. So hopefully this is getting better for you. Now I want to let you be the teacher. So your friend writes this problem, x plus 8 equal negative 10. Is your friend correct? Explain your reasoning. Well, let's see. x plus 10 equals negative 10. Did he undo the addition by using the opposite? Yes. So, so far, that's correct. Let me erase that because I don't like that. So, yes, he used the opposite. So that's correct. correct there so far. And he did that to both sides of the equal sign. Now you can get your calculator and write negative 10 minus 8. So the rules for subtraction of fractions, and you might want to check out my video on how to subtract fractions. Negative 10, we change the operation of subtraction to its opposite, which is addition. And we're going to use the additive inverse of the second term, which means the opposite of 8, which is negative 8. And we use our rules for addition of sign numbers, which means if the signs are the same, we add the numbers. That'll give us 10 plus 8 is 18, and keep the same sign in this case. And that's what they have down here. So is the friend right? Yes, they are right. Why are they right? Because I, I follow the steps uh, of the and the process, so I know they are right. So yes, your friend is right. So that was a good question. Glad I was the teacher. Here's another question for you, solving those equations. So give it a shot. See if you can do it. No, it has mixed numbers in there, so no problem. So I hope you're understanding what's going on. If you're not sure, rewatch the video and bring in your questions. Remember, you can also get help from Dial a Teacher Homework Helpline at 212-777-3380, Monday to Thursdays, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Give them a call. They're very nice people. They love to help. Don't forget to watch our Math Prep 21, the pandemic. It's coming out shortly, so look for it. You can also watch my study YouTube videos. My channel name is Dan Robinson, PKMS, Peak Skill Middle School. Subscribe to our channel. Help us to get to 1,000 subscribers. Write us a comment. Let us know how we're doing with our videos. So uh, give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. And uh, write me a comment because I do write back. Coming soon, Math Prep 21, PKMS. You can tweet us at DRobMath1. So if you would like a worksheet on the topic we just studied, write me at DRobinson at peakskillschools.org. So I hope you enjoyed the solving equations 
the one-step equations with fractions. So this is Dr. Rob signing off.